Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. In this video, we are talking about pet first aid and what you should include in your pet first aid kit. I am actually certified in pet CPR. I first became certified a long time ago, back in like 2014, something like that. And I have also had two extremely severe medical emergencies with Winston. So um, it's unfortunate, but I speak from experience. And um, so I'm gonna go through my first aid kit that I have from Winston, as well as some other notable items that I think that you should carry when um, you are traveling with your pet, no matter what kind of pet you're traveling with. And it's also important to have a first aid kit for yourself. So one thing to note is that you can absolutely put together your own first aid kit, or you can purchase one that's already put together um, like from Amazon. So uh, you have a couple different options, but I'm gonna go through mine, so. And that's Winston and his cousins barking in the background. <laughs> Let's get started. So you can really put your first aid kit in any sort of container. It doesn't have to be a specific first aid container, but I bought this at Target in the clearance section probably a decade ago. So that's what I use. All right, so I have two pairs um, of latex gloves. These are very heavy duty gloves, um, you know, for a variety of situations, uh, first aid situations. Now, I, I don't have everything that I recommend in my first aid kit, but um, I'll go through what I have. So a, a syringe, um, and that's a big, this syringe I actually used after Winston's surgeries um, to drain his fluids. Um, I have <clears throat> gauze, of course, like a medication syringe. I have a surgical towel as well as just a bunch of different um, bandages and also antiseptic wipes. So um, it's always important to have a clean towel available always at all times. So I actually have Winston's, um, I have prescription eye drops in, or I have actually these uh, are these prescription? Eye yeah, these are the prescription eye drops. I think um, I got Winston is prone to eye infections because he is a Chihuahua. So I have those. Um, it clears him up within like a day or two. Uh, I have Neosporin just off brand. Um, some more gauze as well as a big bandage uh, that can be used again for a variety of uses. Medical tape. And I have Benadryl, uh, great for allergic reactions. I Dosages are different for every dog. I'm not a veterinarian. Consult your veterinarian before giving your dog medication. But um, you can also find a chart online for antihistamine and how much to give to your dog depending on how much they weigh. Winston weighs 10 pounds. So um, I can actually give him up to one full one a day. But so if he has an allergic reaction, gets stung by a scorpion, something like that, I can give him that Benadryl. So I also recommend putting um, uh, tweezers. Tweezers are a must. I have tweezers, but they're in a different um, in a different area. And you know, so there are a few different other items that you can put in here. But this is just what is in this kit for me. And um, yeah, that's so that's what I chose to put in this kit and I'll go through some other things. No matter what you decide to put your first aid kit in uh, for a storage container, make sure it's easily accessible. If there's an emergency with your pet, um, you don't have time to be digging around your vehicle trying to find it. So put it somewhere accessible. Mine is literally right there so I can grab it from many different locations um, whenever I need to. So for your pet safety, you'll also want to make sure that your pet does have a tag with information on the back in case they get lost. I actually have my phone number as well as my mom's phone number. My mom's phone number has been the same for 20 years. I can always count on her to um, 
answer the phone. So make sure that your dog has a tag and also that they're microchipped and that that information is all up to date. Um, I also, of course, have Winston's harness and leash and I carry a backup leash. Yes, this leash has bananas and I recommend you carry at least one backup leash when you travel. It's important when you're traveling with your pet to have on hand information such as your vet's primary doctor, or I'm sorry, your pet's primary doctor, veterinarian, um, and also a list of emergency vets in the area that you're traveling just in case. I also carry all of um, Winston's medical documentation, so his rabies shot, I got a health certificate for him, um, as well as he is a medical assistance animal, so I have documentation from my doctors um, for that in here as well. So keep that medical documentation with you at all times when you are traveling. It is extremely important. Some other things that you might want to include in your pet first aid kit would be like a muzzle, for example. Um, muzzles really come in handy, especially if you have a big dog and um, if there's a severe emergency, you know, dogs are in pain and they get bitey and mouthy when you know, something happens. So a muzzle can be very helpful. Also things like hydrogen peroxide, an instant cold pack, uh, some shears, um, you know, alcohol swabs, make sure you have plenty of bandages, dressing, uh, gauze, you know, things like that to dress wounds. Um, and, you know, it doesn't have to be expensive. Like I said, you can purchase a, a kit that's already made online. Or, you know, you can even go to like the dollar store and just grab some basic supplies, at least so you have something. Um, Winston broke his foot one time when we were traveling in Texas. We were actually in a hotel room. He jumped off a chair and broke his foot. Um, and then the other time, of course, was when he got mauled by the neighbor dog. So I've had like the most extreme emergencies with Winston. And um, I mean, even him breaking his foot while we were traveling was crazy. But you can actually learn how to do pet CPR and do some different wound stuff on YouTube. You know, just check it out. You don't have to be certified in pet CPR uh, in order to save your dog's life. CPR is different depending on what type of animal it is and how big your animal is. So I do recommend um, at least going on YouTube and you know typing it in so at least you can learn the basics. So I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, be sure to subscribe and like this video. We'll see you next time.